Hostile broadcast detected. I'm a rogue. Of course I hate Manny Ortega. I'm a rogue. Of course I prefer Anna to Isaac. All right, agents. I have to admit, I'm stalling. But that's only because I'm limited on new information. Unless you consider Kelso's note that you pulled off Abraham's scalpel hill. From the looks of it, Kelso's got this eerie feeling she's being tracked. Which is strange considering Manny Ortega's got all of you lot looking for her. Not to mention the black tusks that are tailing her. No, Kelso's specifically talking about someone in particular. Someone who we at least thought dead at some point. I can only guessingly roll off some potential names that fit into the picture. Well, it can't be fake because she's dead dead. Vivian Conley? But I don't know. I saw footage of her burning to a crisp. They'd have to do some major Darth Vader surgery to get her back in action. Then there's Bridget Viper Douglas. Her name's come up in comms. And she's got connections with Mackenzie Merritt, Keener, and even someone back at the White House. But this is my last known picture of her. She could have pulled off a Carter LaRue Hornet. And if it is her, that's what you get for not double tapping. I did want to throw in that as far as comms go, we got more of Keener being a supposed hero. Viv, we're clear. One survivor. Sir, are you okay? I think so. Those Rikers came out of nowhere. I know. It's gonna be okay. Are you hurt? No, no I, I don't think so. Can you walk? Yes. Do you have somewhere safe to stay? I thought I was safe at Haven. If you trust me, I've got a place you can stay. You ready? I think so. It's just a short boat trip, and you'll be on safer shores. And I can really leave any time I want to? You're not a prisoner, and I'm not your warden. They're wrong about you, you know? People often see what they want to see. I think I'd like to stick around for a while, if that's okay. More than okay. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. Kajika, get the boat ready. We're leaving in ten. Keener, hold that boat. Got another city for transfer. Let me guess, pretty girl who is grateful to her hero. No. I mean, she's cute, but uh, I'm no hero. <laughs> I think you're cute, too. Five minutes. Then we're leaving for the safe house. Well, I thought we were leaving in ten. We are, but young lovers lose track of time. Better to be early than left behind. But also him being a bit of a creep over Mackenzie Merritt. Again. Uh, this really is quite the party, M&M. &M. Uh, how do you know that nickname? Mutual friend. That, of course. Cal, actually. What's your name? Keener. Aaron Keener. Oh, the soldier turned venture capitalist. I see my reputation precedes me. Uh, I know you made Cal a lot of money, and he made you an offer you couldn't refuse. That was an offer so much as a uh, calling. Sure. Well... Have fun. Uh, the drinks are free, and the women are smarter than you, so don't try anything funny. So tell me, M&M. &M, Mac. Why haven't you joined our little operation? Your fund or whatever secret society issues a smartwatch. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not the first time I've seen one of those. I can't really talk about it. But if you'd like to get a drink sometime... We're having a drink now. We are? But there's too many eyes and ears to be that candid with you, Mac. What do you want, Keener? To make you breakfast. I have a personal chef for that, but thank you for your donation to the clinic. Your tax break will save a lot of lives this winter. But back to Kelso. Sounds like she's getting closer to what she set out looking for. She at least seems to have some type of understanding about Cassandra. Perhaps a bit more than what she may be able to share. Well... Outside of thinking that the Hunters and Black Tusk tech dominance could be upended with some sort of key. Speaking of keys, where did I leave my special one? Ah, there it goes. Silliness aside, I'm starting to relate with Kelso's paranoia a little. Like the walls are closing in for some reason. Which is weird since I'm the one always with my eyes on you, agents. In the words of Outcast Earl... It might be nothing, but it might be something. Regardless, I'll be watching.